Right, I am back as promised with a perm jumbo perm rod set video I'm going to do for you tonight. Um, now again, tonight is Sunday. Shampooed my hair on Thursday. Did not really feel the need to co-wash today, um, but I want to give myself a hairstyle to get through the week. Um, I could pin curl this again and continue to wear the pin curl hairstyle. I thought I would give the jumbo perm rods um, a try tonight. Um, but what I did do is in the back of my head, um, I did where I just spot um, cleanse my scalp with apple cider vinegar just on a few spots around my back hairline where I had some um, outbreaks. If you want to see how I do that, check out my how I cleanse my psoriasis with apple cider vinegar video. That's just where I do that if I don't feel like washing my whole entire head because when I look at my front hairline, it's nothing going on. I have a little bit um, around my forehead. Sometimes it'll flake up and go back into my hairline, my front hairline. But other than that, I didn't feel the need to wash my whole entire head today. All right, okay, so now let's get into the perm rod set. I think I'm actually going to part it off on the side and swoop it around for this hairstyle. And what I'm gonna do is section it off. For this front section, I'm gonna go above my ear or in front of my ear, I should say. And I'm gonna clip that back. And I'm gonna work with this section right here. And I'm gonna be using my coconut oil again. This is what I like to use on my dry hair when I'm setting it overnight. And my gel. If you saw my comparison video earlier today, I was compar comparing gel to foam wrap lotion and I would definitely like the gel better. Um, these perm rods are much easier to work with to me than the magnetic rollers. So I was saying to myself, what if I set my hair wet on these perm rods How versus the magnetic rollers? How would it come out? Well, I know I would have to sit under the hooded dryer way longer, but um, it seems like to me they're easier to... Um, work with. So right now you're seeing me put a little coconut oil and a little gel on each section. Now with this versus with the flexi rods, you will see me detangle each piece with a comb. Whereas with the flexi rods, I just kind of finger comb it. Okay. I have two different flexi rods. I'm sorry. Perm rods. I have the magenta, which there's one bigger than this. If you all can see how big that is. Um, it's kind of beige or tan. It's about, it's really wide, bigger than this. And then the black is the size smaller than the magenta. So I'm going to be varying between these two. There's also a teal green one that's slightly smaller than this. But those were all the jumbo ones that I saw. And I got uh, two packs of each of these. So that sh should be enough. And I'm going to be, of course, using the bigger rollers on the bigger pieces and then the smaller rollers on the smaller pieces. All right, I have my coconut oil in my little cap. Um, since it's been cooler here, the coconut oil has actually hardened up. The coconut oil melts and hardens up really easy. So depending on the temperature in your house, that would depend on the consistency of your coconut oil. But I mean, it melts when you put it in your fingers. And I'm going to um, put a scarf on this and sleep on these tonight.
All right, then I'm going to do this side exactly like that. And then I will do the back. How I'm going to do the back is in three rows. One, two, and three. And I'm going to roll it just like this. I'll do a few more on this side and show it to you. And then I will pause it and come back and show you how I finish. I think I will just make this one piece. Or do I need to? I do two. See, I've switched to a black roller. I'll use black on these two bottom pieces. And I'm just really just putting my hair on it, rolling it, rolling it with a bit of tension and getting it as close to my scalp as I can. Okay, now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and finish up the back and I'll come back when I'm on my last section to, um, to finish this up for you. Stay tuned. All right, so now I'm back on my last section. I've done the sides and I've done two rows in the back. I'll show you how that looks three magenta and then one black at the bottom of each row and I'm gonna do the same thing to this section um, and I know I said in the first half of the video but I'll say it again these rollers are very easy to manipulate um, I also forgot to tell you I was oiling my scalp in between as I always do um, but these rollers are very easy to work with if you are a beginner like myself when it comes to roller sets um, if you maybe want to try off on these, try them out because you don't have those roller clips to contend with. I think that's where I mess up at is when it comes to clipping those magnetic rollers in, whereas these just have a little snap on them. So I'm going to go ahead and unsnap these for this rope. But um, yeah, so that's about it. I'm going to finish this up. And I was thinking, what if... When I do my roller sets with my wet set and my magnetic rollers, what if I use this pattern? Like how would that, would that help me in achieving a better roller set versus the mohawk pattern that I had been accustomed to? I may have to give that a try. And I may just have to share the results with you all if I do try it. Because this right here has been very easy. Oh, you will also notice that um, I've put little roller clips right up there. Um, I did watch a tutorial on this earlier before I tried this myself. And the person, she was uh, she already went ahead and put her um, edge control up there and brushed it down. Um, I didn't put anything on it. I'm just holding it down with those clips. So hopefully those pieces will be kind of laid down in the morning. If not, we can always pin it back. Um, I don't know how I'm going to style this when I take it down in the morning. But we will find out. Oops. This one popped open. And I hope 
hope I was not going too fast. I know there are some beginners out there. There are some experts out there. And there's some in-betweens. Um, if you are looking at this video as a tutorial and I went too fast for you, let me know and I can do, slow it down and do it step by step for you. When I did my flexi rod video, I didn't realize I was going so fast and there were some beginners out there that did not catch how I was actually putting the flexi rods on my hair. So I love your feedback. So please let me know. All right, last piece here. And again, I'm just putting coconut oil and gel on each section. And I'm combing it through after I put the product on. All right, last one. And then I'm going to uh, put a scarf on and sleep like this. But that is the finished results. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video. Um, let me show you one more time how the back looks. It's just three rolls with four rollers on each section. And then my front two pieces have three rollers on each section. All right, I will take this down in the morning and share with you my results. Have a great night.